G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Well, how high can synthetics go? What an absolute stellar and cracking run this coin has been on for a while. So, uh, it's up about 0.85%. Uh, I think that's in the last kind of 24 hours or so. So that doesn't seem uh, entirely like much at all. But if we go down here and have a look at the chart, have a look at this. So obviously uh, it came out in around about sort of April 2018, traded alright, it had a really low point obviously, I think at some point it gets down to around about 4 cents, well actually right here it's trading at around about 4 uh, US cents. And I remember uh, Nuggets News saying that they picked some up back then, I think it was sort of uh, September-ish uh, 2018 or something like that, they picked it up for 4 cents and I think they've been riding it ever since. So what an absolute stellar run considering it's at like $2.90 US right now. Australian, I think it's up around the kind of $4 mark, something like that. Uh, now I got on it... Uh, somewhere around about here, I bought it uh, somewhere between, I think it was around about 50 cents, 60 cents was the cheapest I picked it up, uh, and then uh, bought it uh, a couple of times up into around about the dollar twenty one area. Now that's in Australian dollars, uh, in American it's even a little bit less, I think the most I paid for it in US dollars was like 89 cents, but now it's trading at $2.90. So let's bring this in a little bit. And we can see this run that it's done since the big crash. So obviously the big sell-off, uh, the pandemic and all the rest of it. There we go, got down to sort of 44 cents. Uh, and it has just been on an absolute run basically ever since. But particularly in the last month or so, who knows where it can go. Uh, I'm a massive, excuse me, I'm a massive fan of uh, Synthetics Network. I, I use their exchange uh, you know, I stake my coins and mint the uh, SUSD, then I take that over to the exchange and, uh, you yeah, know, basically got on the DeFi uh, trading uh, platform that they have there uh, and the SDFi, so to say the DeFi is going to go up, I've been putting my money into that, so I haven't checked it for probably about a week, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Uh, yeah, love and synthetics network now. I would be a little bit cautious about getting in on synthetics at the moment. I'm sure at some stage this is going to have to pull back. So if we just go like the last month, I mean, what an absolute roar it's sort of had in the last month. There's got to be a point where it's probably going to pull back some. But that's not to say that uh, that's guaranteed that that's what it's going to do. But as we can see here, it just keeps creeping up and creeping up and creeping up. And are we leveling out here at the moment? You know, who knows? And maybe it's uh, ready to do a bit of a correction. But then again, maybe it's ready to just keep going. Uh, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see. So synthetics, yeah, loving this coin at the moment. Uh, and it's my biggest gainer. I think I'm up about 300% uh, in my total sort of earnings. I'm up even more from when I got into it very early. I think that's more about nearly four, 500%. So loving it. Now, an interesting article I found that was uh, on Cointelegraph, and they're talking about if everyone switches to ASICs mining, so this is the ASICs mining machines, this is for all the mining uh, companies out there, uh, will actually secure and increase security uh, by 2000x, they were saying. So basically, if we come down here, what it was saying is that everyone uh, got onto ASICs, it would just make it too expensive for someone to do a double spend uh, on Bitcoin, uh, the 51% attack that they're talking about. Yeah, basically, uh, after the next halving, it would require someone to have 157,000 to 530,000 Bitcoin if they wanted to do uh, a 51% attack, because you need to have X amount to uh, make the 51% work, 51% attack work. I don't know if there's any whales that have that many Bitcoin. There could be a few that might have, you know, a couple of hundred thousand maybe, but I don't know if they've got 150,000 to 530,000 Bitcoin. I mean, it could be wrong, who knows, but that just seems like uh, a lot of Bitcoin for one person to have. Uh, Maybe not impossible though. I mean, they are talking about grayscale, you know, having nearly 1 million Bitcoin by the time they're done buying. So I guess I could be wrong about that. But basically, that still means someone or a group of people have to have a whole lot of Bitcoin to try and do that. And that's, you've got to have that much uh, 
it just seems like it would be entirely too hard and too much effort. And if you had that much Bitcoin, why would you want to double spend and ruin the ruin the ecosystem anyway? You'd lose as soon as you did that. Bitcoin would go down. So yeah, interesting. You know, hopefully everyone moves to ASICs then by the sounds of it. But we'll have to wait and see. And lastly, let's have a look at the Bitcoin charts. Something I've noticed over my time in uh, cryptocurrencies, and that's been sort of you know going on nearly three years now, is we usually have a little bit of a sell-off when it comes to the weekend. So it's Friday here in Australia, soon to be Friday in the States and all the rest of it. Uh, and we can see that the markets, so we'll go back here first, they've all had a little bit of a pullback. You know, they're on a bit of a rip terror during the week. Prices really went up, and as we can see, Bitcoin's back down to that 9,000 sort of 200 level. So quite a bit of red there. So everything's pulled back a little bit. Now, not too much. Some things have pulled back more than others. And, you know, VeChain, of course. And I'm sure Dogecoin has had a massive pullback. But it'll be interesting to see whether they're going to dip too much more. And we go back over to here, have a look at my chart. So again, Bitcoin has been trading in this channel for quite some time. So since back in basically sort of May, March, let's say somewhere around there, and it gets up and it gets down and it gets up and gets down and we'll get in. And it's just now quite regularly bouncing off this trend line here. So it'll be interesting to see where it goes, whether it'll dip uh, a little bit more over the weekend or whether it's going to hold. As I've said before, I can see it kind of staying in this channel and maybe even going down and possibly getting down to around about the $8,000 sort of dollar mark. Now, I don't see Bitcoin going below 8000 anytime soon, if ever again, but that's not to say it couldn't because if I would take this chart back out, Bitcoin's average price for the last three years has been between about 6000 and $8,000. So at the moment, we are above that mark, so it wouldn't be uh, unheard of for it to come back down into this range, but I really see this as just, you know, it's starting to coil up tighter and tighter and tighter. And at some stage, it's going to have to make some kind of move. Now, what kind of move? You know, no one can tell you for 100% certain, but most people are expecting it to break out and start to pump up. And, you know, I can definitely see it staying in this channel and again maybe getting down towards this eight thousand dollar level maybe later in this year sort of around you know september ish uh, and then it's going to slowly break out or i can see it breaking out and then it might start to retrace and follow this line down a little bit more before then it really starts to pick up and take off but anyway that's just my take on the market so everything's down on friday it'll be interesting to see if it goes down more saturday and then maybe start to pick up sunday and then monday tuesday is usually where you kind of see the biggest pumps uh the beginning of the week and midweek when everyone's getting right back into the trading even though cryptocurrencies is 24 hours a day seven days a week uh it still is mainly based around the kind of core hours you know during the business hours uh particularly the us and things like that is where you'll see the biggest sort of fluctuations and China and things like that as well. Anyway, that's it from me. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you haven't had too many losses today. Maybe you've even made a little bit today. And I'll see you next time.